What is up guys? I am Kelsey. I'm Melissa. And for today's video, we actually got back from Disney World's Hollywood Studios and we're going to show you how to do a full day of eating there for less than $50 a couple, $25 a person. Let's go. So we just got back from Disney World's Hollywood Studios and we actually wanted to challenge ourselves by going in there with a semi-plan. We kind of chose these Yay. foods to fit under a budget of $50 for, a for yeah people. for the two of us. So we had to find foods that were filling, Disney related, so things you would want to actually eat at Disney like staples and something kind of unique to that park. So in today's video we have a couple options for you. If you want to do this go and uh, get yourself a $50 gift card. You can get those at the big box stores like Sam's Club, Target, yeah, we got ours at Sam's Club, and the perk with that is that it, it shaves off a couple dollars too. So we got, um, I believe it was a hundred and fifty dollar package, which included three fifty dollar gift cards, uh, and it ended up being about a hundred and forty six dollars instead of the one fifty, which isn't much, but every little bit counts. So this is actually a great idea if you actually want to save money and it's want to experience it. a good kind of variety of Disney Park foods. So for today's park, we're actually going to Hollywood Studios. So the first place we went to was the Trolley Car Cafe. And if you don't know what's in there, it's actually not... It's, it's pretty much a Starbucks. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty much a Starbucks within a cafe. So when we got there, we wanted to try the carrot cake cookie and we actually got a frappuccino mocha so frappuccino. I'm not sure if the was that like a special thing a mocha frappuccino like Disney no it actually came in a <laughs> I don't go to Starbucks it actually came in a pretty cool Disney cup and the carrot cake caf carrot cake cookie <laughs> carrot cake cafe <laughs> is only that I know of. we didn't see it anywhere else it's only at this location. It's bomb. One carrot cake, they split in half. They cut in half and they put an icing? Was it It's like icing? a cream cheese icing. The typical how you would find a carrot cake with cream cheese icing on it. It, it was kind of filled with that same kind of icing. I actually, carrot cake is actually my number one choice of cake. It was bomb and it was huge. So it was a perfect sharing size. Mm. It was like and it's really funny because the carrot cake cookies, they're really they're thick like compared carrot. to how much icing is actually in the sandwich itself. It was super moist, a lot of it carrot really cake moist. goodness, and that was our breakfast. The carrot cake was $3.99, the frappuccino was $5.49, so Starbucks. along with tax, it ended up being $10.10 total for breakfast. For two people. For two people. That's a fifth of the budget. So... Let's go a little bit forward since it was a lot of sweet. That kind of held us over for lunch. And we ended up going to the Back Lot Express, which is actually right by the Indiana Jones. You'll see yeah. a big black tower. It'll have a downward triangle saying that you're here at the Back Lot Express. You go through a little courtyard. They serve burgers, they serve fries, kind of American fare style. And here was the Darth Vader chicken and waffles. If you've ever had a Mickey waffle before, it's that same batter, but they put into a press that has the Darth Vader face on it. It looks so cool. The star of the show for me was the chicken nuggets. I've never had, of course, chicken nuggets from Disney World. I thought it was kind of a... It's not really chicken nuggets. I thought they were more like chicken tenders. Chicken, chicken tenders that were like cut in half. I think you can choose the sauce, but I'm not sure. I think... I think we ended up going with like a honey mustard sauce. And a barbecue. And a barbecue sauce. But I don't know if they have different choices. I can't remember. The waffle part actually came with its own maple syrup that you can so put in as much as you want or as little as you want. You kind of wanted to tone down the sweetness a little bit. So I personally kind of drizzled off a little bit of that syrup. And it was actually pretty good. I kind of like the idea of chicken waffles. I love that. Yes. Yeah. 
for a afternoon snack, we actually chose to do some Disney staples, but it's a classic as well. This one is going to be the Mickey shaped pretzel and it comes with cheese. This one actually came out to be $6 and both of these are going to be at the same location. It's going to be a little cart that we found right next to the Chinese theater and to pair that, pair the pretzel and the cheese, we actually got a churro which to our surprise actually came with chocolate sauce. We, we chose to get the cho chocolate sauce because it's no extra charge. That one comes out to be $5.50. The really cool thing about this cart is that it was tax free. Surprisingly, I don't know how that happened or if it's like a thing in in the parks at all, but they, there was no tax charge. I, yeah, I which don't know. Pretty cool. I don't understand how that happened. Looking at the receipt after it was like yeah, zero. Yeah, weird. But maybe we're not it's complaining. just automatic tax on there. I don't know. With the pretzel, it's soft. It's better with the cheese, in my opinion. Yes. Although a good amount of salt kind of contrasts some of the sweeter stuff. We actually like the salt and the cheese. But to me, for the churro, you can take it or leave it when it comes to the chocolate sauce. Churro is I automatically, loved it. for me, <laughs> one of the best things. Hot, crunchy, cinnamony, and something you can walk around with. Both of these you can walk around with the part. And uh, if you're brave, you can actually try to dip it in the cheese sauce if you get both of these at the same time. We actually dipped the pretzel into the chocolate sauce too, which is pretty good. So we only got a plain pretzel. It wasn't like their specialty ones. It was just a regular pretzel. Dip it in the chocolate sauce. If you Bomb. get both. You should just get, get both. both. Just get both. <laughs> the total for the Mickey pretzel and the churro with the chocolate sauce ended up being $11.50. And with that, that takes us to our final meal of the day. Ended up being the chili cheese dog that comes with chips. And that was at dog the Dockside Diner. Dockside Diner. That day, Hollywood Studios chose to close around 8 or 9. So we got this around right before closing time, right before the fireworks. Not the fireworks, the show that happens at the Chinese Theater. My favorite meal of the day because it was hot. It had chili cheese. And it was a hot dog. <laughs> it was a hot dog. And compared to a lot of the other things, it had a pretty, pretty good size. It was huge. It was pretty big. Like, this thing is definitely shareable. For sure, because it was big. He would have it all to himself if he could. Yeah. At Dockside Diner, they actually have a couple different options. They have a chili cheese, or they have different hot dogs, different toppings, so this is uh, actually a nice kind of American fair style place to eat. This one actually came out to be $11.49 and the total for that was with tax, with tax $12.24, tax was $0.75. Cents. Um, one of the cool things about all these places, except for the cart, you could actually get a cup of water for free, so that actually ended up being our beverage, so you save even more money on that. And they have all the ketchup and dressings that you want. Actually ended up being a pretty good day of eating for less than 50 bucks. So the total for the whole day for two people ended up being 46.08. So we actually had money to spare. We could have bought like another churro or something maybe. <laughs> yep, and we could have done that. More churros, do it. Why not? If you haven't seen our full day at Hollywood Studios, I suggest you check that out. Link in the description or right here, 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 yeah. Um, we actually went to all the parks, so we have more videos coming up soon. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want more content, consider subscribing. And we actually have more parks coming up, so stay tuned. We will see you later. Let's try those foods out. Disney World, Hollywood Studios. We'll see you next time. Bye!